Well, how do there, chums? Today, Captain of the Steers. And today, chums, I'm doing a tour of a pirate dreadnought freighter base. And it's not my freighter base. Um, let's just jump over into game. You can probably see in the top corner there that I'm with Scottish Rod right now. He's actually off mic. His mic's got a little bit of a gentle hum to it, so he's gone on mute for a bit. But he is in the wings. He's somewhere hiding amongst his freighter. We might accidentally bump into him as we do a tour. But looking out this window here and seeing this array of cannons and things flanking the actual pirate dreadnought is the main reason why I would love to have a pirate dreadnought base of my own. And I will do on my... Um, PC experimental save, but it's going to be a long time before I build anything as majestic and as awesome as this. So straight from the bridge, you go straight into here. There's this lovely sort of command area here where you can send out all of his frigates. There's a few sort of like refining machines and bits and bobs to the left and to the right, which is pretty lovely. But heading out into here is like the main courtyard. I mean, look at this. He's got freaking kiosks and all sorts of stuff. Over in this corner, he's got like a little barista or something going on. He's got these little four things on the counter. And he did mention that there was some sort of joke linked to this with the two Ronnies. But I never really watched the two Ronnies. But there's a fork over there and four candles or something. Yeah, and you'll, you'll probably get the joke if you're old enough. And then you've got, you've got this big sign over here. You've got this little guy jumping around there. You've got like this freaking... Flower seller stall over here, which is freaking lovely. I love the canopy above to have a little bit of movement. Pretty nice. There's another little store sort of like area over here for like bags of salt or whatever this is. I'm not too sure what's going on here, but pretty darn lovely. I wish I had fixed these Gex and actually make them sound like they're Gex rather than all sounding like Viking. It's the main reason I don't use them, but they do add a certain sort of ambience, don't they, really? You've got a massive great big garden area up here with a Diplo and all sorts of stuff there, which is lovely. I'll show you upstairs first. If I head on up these, stem, these stairs over this way, you've got some... You've got some other stairs going up there. It takes you to like a farmy type area. There's loads of plants here. Loads of sort of botanicals going on. Yeah, if you head on up this ramp though. Lovely jubbly. It takes you to sort of like the back area. Where there's this giant cannon. Freaking love this. You can even sit in it if you want to. Lovely photo opportunity. Stick the sun in the sky. There you go. You can see the cannon there. Isn't that awesome? A giant pirate cannon. One of my favourite parts, I think, of this build. I really do love that. That's awesome. And then you've got all these turrets flanking the sides there as well. All these actual real cannons. And I love all these buildings with the lights on. It makes it feel very grandiose, doesn't it? The pirate freighters are pretty darn phenomenal. It does make me wonder whether we might be getting some sort of living freighters next. But then up here, there's like a little bar area up here, which is really cool. So you can just sit up and up here and have a nice little chat. Me and Rod were sitting up here. We were just chatting for a while, in fact. Very cool. So it's even got an area to relax out a bit. Lovely jubbly. Anyway, let's let's head back down the ramps. Because there is a little secret area. A little nook. A little sort of like um, Scottish Rod hideaway area. You might be in there. So look. So, uh, not in there. I've got to remember where it freaking was now. So by the actual base of the stairs... Is it in this door? No, not in that door. Uh, this one, I'm looking for a coffee machine. It's a very sort of sneaky coffee machine. It's around here somewhere. Bum, bum, bum. I think that one takes me back to the bridge. Yes. Oh, where is it? I've lost the key to that. Hold on, here you go. I found it. Here it is. Here's the coffee machine right here. The last door I went in. Okay, right, and this coffee machine is actually really quite cool, isn't it? Very nice. But, jump up, and through here, and you enter into the secret area. There's Rod, he's on his throne. Hey guys, hello there Mr. Rod. Cool, yeah. yeah. <laughs> isn't that cool? I'm loving this sort of tartan background that he's got there. And also this skull that sort of like adorns the wall. It's very awesome. And even all of these. I mean, look at it. Isn't it snazzy? Well, this sort of jazzy stripiness going on. Uh, Scottish Rod has got videos on how he put all this together. Or if he hasn't got one on all this sort of snazziness, I think he's going to have one in the very near future. Because, oh, Diplo's here. Yeah, if you haven't already subscribed to Scottish of the Rod's channel, please do. Because, you know... It, this sort of stuff is just very inspirational. And over here, there's another secret room. 
and go into here and it's just like a little pirate area it's got all of his nip nip in here loads of containers for all of his smuggled contraband because he is a proper freaking pirate in this save heck yes he is and this is the sort of thing that i do want to do a little bit more of inside of my pc experimental save is to be more of a pirate and embrace the pirate lifestyle so yeah i will be getting like a, a sentinel dreadnought and also trying to use the sentinel systems in space more so than normal systems in space but as as and when it's as and when i get into it people but at the moment i'm just sort of using my playstation 5 save doing a little bit over there but anyway i hope this has given you some thoughts to do your own sort of pirate dreadnought build I know that I've got a fair bit of inspiration from looking at this. It's freaking darn lovely. I guess it is. I'm not too sure whether my pirate freighter is going to have a flower cellar on it. I don't, but I do like that. I probably nick that idea and put it down near to a settlement or something or a planet side planet. But yeah, a pirate that sells flowers. It's, it's, it's a little bit, you know, odd, isn't it? Oh look, there goes Rod. He's legging it. I can see him. Look at him. He's going across the mezzanines. I don't know where he's off to. There he goes. The sneaky little rodster. Okay, cool, yeah. Anyway, people, I think I'm going to end off there. Hopefully that's given you food for thought. Salute Mondo, peeps, and uh, cheery bye. Um, actually, I'll just jump over to the screen for a second. So what else have I got coming to my channel? Oh, got Dragon's Dogma in March. March 22nd, I'm going to be playing the old Dragon's Dogma, which uh, hopefully you're going to join me for that. But hopefully, in between now and then, I'll be hitting up my PC Experimental save, trying to get my character somewhat established on that save. But I'm not looking forward to doing all the Atlas words all over again. No. Or learning all the languages, for that matter. There's a few things inside of No Man's Sky that I really do hope they gamify and make a little less sort of yawning juicing inside of the next updates i was talking to um, scottish rod earlier and he was saying that he feels that there might be a galactic reset on the cards perhaps even this year and because of all those little things that i just mentioned i think there could be a massive rebalancing i don't know whether they'll go as far as a full-on reset but definitely a rebalancing of things i think could be on the cards i think rod might have some sense there to be honest anyway sound up in the comments let us know what you think do you think there'll be a galactic reset or a galactic rebalancing or somewhere in between cherry bye